haven't peeled the plastic off yet. Oh. Oh my god, is that not like the most satisfying thing you've ever done in your life? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. But <laughs> I'm going to be showing you everything that I am packing for Southeast Asia. So I did do one of these packing videos for Europe. And also just a quick little like um, update in here. Yes, I did come back to Australia because um, I already had a return flight booked from Europe. And it just worked out cheaper and way easier for me to come home for a couple of days. And then just book another flight to Asia because it's so cheap for us to fly here, there from Australia. So that is what I did. So I have a whole new pack situation and a whole new bag situation if you've watched my other Europe one so going into Europe I was backpacking I want to say I don't really know what the actual definition of backpacking is if you just have to have a backpack I don't really think so but anyways I had a backpack and you know what I learned from Europe my number one tip I learned I'm not a backpacker I hated having a backpack, I never once put it on my back, and then I ended up using the back pocket for extra storage, so I couldn't even put it on my back anyway. So going into Asia, I was like, I am not dealing with that thing again, I never want to look at it ever again in my life, I hate it. <laughs> no offense to people who are backpackers or anything, I'm sure if it works for you, give it, get a backpack, but for me, it just did not work out for me, it was just such a hassle to carry around, and I never once put it on my back, so it's like, why even bother with the backpack? But anyways, that's just me and the way I like to travel, so... To go to Asia, I am taking a suitcase and also got a new little backpack as well. This one is just from um, Ruby Shoes and yeah, it's actually a really cool design. It's got like hard metal pieces in the middle. Anyways, I'll go into more detail when I show you what's in that backpack. So that will be my carry-on. And then I also got a new suitcase only because I didn't have... All my other suitcases are really, really large and... I needed something a little bit smaller because I am only restricted to 20 kilos and I didn't want to have a suitcase that wasn't completely full because then all your stuff moves around everywhere and that's how things get damaged. So I got this new suitcase. It's from the brand called Flylight. I don't know the exact size of it, but I know that it holds 66 liters, um, but I'm sure I can find a link to it and leave it down below if you're interested. Anyways, but now let's get into what is in my actual bag. Oh, I feel so far away from you guys. I never feel this far away. Okay, hopefully you will be able to see everything. So let's just start with this side because it's open. So first off, ooh, my first thing is a Turkish cotton towel because I am going to a lot of beach places. I need a beach towel and these are perfect because they're so tiny. Then next I've just got a little um, tote bag. I bought one of these to Europe and it was so handy just for like taking to the shower or taking to the beach or like if you need to carry a few extra things. So handy. Then I've just got my pajama t-shirt, which just sits on top because I have to get it out so many times. I don't like putting it in a packing cube. Um, let's just start with the biggest cube here. So I've got the largest packing cube in this section here. And I've just packed this the same that I did for Europe. So this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's got eight tops in here. Then I've got... Uh, four dresses and two play suits. So there is still quite a bit of room in here in case I want to buy anything extra. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention, I literally have everything in here. So I don't actually know what I'm going to wear on the plane yet. I'll just find something out of here. So yeah, all my shoes, every single piece of clothing I'm taking is in here. And then I'll just take, find a plane outfit out of that. Um, then the medium sized packing cube, exactly the same as Europe. It's got all my pants in it. So I've got a pair of denim shorts, a pair of no, not a pair. A denim skirt. Um, then I've got some actual jeans. And then I've just got two kind of like fabric flowy, like nice and easy breezy shorts. Um, then in the, I guess it's the smallest packing cube, I just have exercise gear because I do want to make sure I am working out when I am in Asia because I didn't in Europe and that didn't end well. Um, in this, um, what's this called? A pouch. This is just the only grey pouch I have because... I needed another pouch. This just has my bomber jacket in it. So I'm just bringing this one bomber jacket because it's not really going to be that cold there, but I'm just more bringing it for like nighttime um, and stuff if I need a little bit of extra warmth. So that will be my one jacket. 
Um, then in this packing cube, which is the same size as that, but a pink, my fave colour, just has my bikinis in it. So at the moment, I've only got two pairs of bikinis. I kind of am planning to buy another pair over there because I only took two Europe and it wasn't enough. I need some more. But I don't have any other ones I like. So hopefully I can find a new pair. And then in this larger packing cube is all of my underwear and socks. So I think I've... To Europe, I bought about like 12 pairs of underwear. I think there might be like 13 or something in here. And I bought extra socks. So to Europe, I only bought three... Yeah, I only bought three pairs of like invisible socks and they're basically the only socks I wear. So this time I'm bringing five because three was not enough. Then we have this little extra flap here. What's even in here? I've got a pair of sunglasses, some little um, of these Ziploc bags. I've just got another like packing sack which I like to use for my laundry. Then I just have my spare travel money card and just a photocopy of my passport and in this big guy oh this is just so bulky and i hate the way it's packed but everything in here is bulky it's like you can't pack it nicely like i could pack this side before my packing cube you know what i mean um i don't even know where to start let's start with the thing on top so i am bringing my little calvin klein backpack because i am just such a backpack person and to Europe I did bring a crossbody bag and regrets. I mean it wasn't that bad but I just love backpacks you know. So I'm bringing that guy. Um, then I'm bringing this belt. It's just one of those like western style belts. I didn't bring a belt to Europe and another hashtag regrets. So ironic because I went on Kentucky and I'm about to go on another Kentucky. But anyways those were my regrets of the trip. I didn't bring a belt and every time I wore an outfit it's like this would be so much cuter with a belt. So I'm just forking out the extra weight for it and I'm bringing it because I know I'll wear it. Um, then I've just got some cotton rounds, which I'll just use for my micellar water. It just didn't fit in my toiletries bag because I got too much stuff, you know? Overpacker right here. Then I've got my GoPro. I have the, um, what are these called? Like the Gorilla tripod thing for my camera. Yeah, just because it's kind of big and I don't really need to take it on the plane, so like on my carry-on on the plane. Um, then I have my makeup. So if any of you have watched my makeup packing video, which I can leave linked up here, I actually have packed way less this time and I'm so proud of myself because, you know, I'm a hashtag overpacker. I think we've all established that here. So none of this minimalism packing thing. I just don't, it's just not me. I just can't do it. I need too much stuff, okay? But actually, my Europe trip told me I don't need as much stuff as I thought, so I'm bringing a lot less makeup this time. Last time it was full, I could barely close it, and there's so much space in here, so I'm definitely bringing less makeup, and I'm so happy about that. I feel like I'm progressing in life. Not really, I don't know what that has to do with progressing in life, but whatever. Then I've just got this grey little pouch, which has um, a lot of medication-y type of things in there, like, you know... If I like can't stop shitting my pants or whatever, or I can't stop throwing my guts up, you know, nobody wants that. So I've just got some medication for that. I've just got like um, ibuprofen, blah, 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 boring stuff. Then I've just got some washing detergent and a, um, what is this called? A travel clothes line. Actually really handy. Totally recommend bringing that. And I also have a pillowcase, which I don't want to take out because it's kind of like hard to get back in. But yes, I bought a pillowcase to Europe and it saved my life so many times because sometimes you just don't want to put your face on those pillows, you know? And I don't know what age is going to be like, so <laughs> need that pillowcase. Um, next we have my toiletries. I don't think we really need to go through this, do we? <sighs> toiletries is just ridiculous. Seriously, why do I need so much stuff? I don't know. I think I have, I'll put it this way, I have cut it down a little bit since Europe because Europe I had one bag, like I had used this bag and then I also had one that was a little bit smaller and they were both full of stuff and now I've only got one bag. So, progress. Progress. Um, and then onto shoes, I just have a pair of sandals, which I don't like wearing sandals, um, but I kind of need them for like going out and stuff because you can't wear runners going out so then I'm bringing a pair of like casual sneakers to wear every day literally in Europe I wore sneakers every day every day I am a sneaker person I love sneakers I'm actually also a boots person but I've cut out the boots from this trip because it's going to be so hot I don't think I'll be wearing boots 
I mean, I think I want to wear boots, but I think my feet will get too sweaty. Um, and then I've just got, uh, what are these called? Actual runners, because like I said, I want to do some working out and hopefully if I've got runners, it'll motivate me, you know? And then I've got boring thongs, hate wearing these, but you need them, you know, for the dirty showers and stuff. You don't want no tinnier. Then I have this waterproof phone case, which I ordered before I went to Europe and then it came the day after I left. But anyways, I thought I'd bring this, see how it goes. It's just from eBay. So if it doesn't work, I'll just throw it out. And then I just have a double adapter. These are really necessary, seriously. I use this so much. Um, and then just a boring plastic bag. And that is everything in my bag. Oh, I can't believe it's all out there. I literally, it's like less stuff than I thought. And I'm so happy because I don't know. I don't know. I just want to like have less stuff, you know? So I'm training myself. Oh. And here's a random moment. Oh, and also I will bring um, some jewelry like I did to Europe, but I can't find the pouch that it's in anywhere. So I'm leaving tomorrow and I'm praying I find it by tomorrow because I feel like because I'm wearing the same clothes every single day. Well, not the same clothes, but you know, I have limited options. When I add like a little different piece of jewelry or something, I feel like it's a whole new outfit. So yeah, I need the jewelry. Anyways, I'm rambling on. Let's push this out of the way and grab my carry-on bag. To be honest, I don't think everything's in here yet, but I'm pretty sure the majority of the main things are, so yeah. So first off, I've just got my um, travel pillow. This guy was the best thing I've ever bought in my life. It's actually my mom got it, so shout out to you, mum. It's just from Typo, but the main thing I love about it is that it's got a cover because you, I've washed it, so it's nice and clean, but you don't even know where this travel pillow has gone. <laughs> Gross. It, it was so dirty when it came back from Europe. So you need a cover on your travel pillow because it gets put everywhere. It is not on your top priority to think about. And then I've just got a few little, um, what are these called? I think they're called carabiners. Oh, I don't know. It's like easy for you to clip things on your bag and I also use one to clip the bed on because I broke the little hook that actually came on. I've also got a lock in case I need to lock my bag and I still have the tag on this so I should cut that off. Um, in this little side, I got these cool things from Kmart. I was like, that's a good idea because it's going to be so humid in um, Asia. I'm probably going to be super sweaty. I thought that I would bring these along. They're just a like cooling cucumber body wipes. And it says, refresh your body on the spot, cooling anytime, anywhere. I was like, that's what I need. It's going to be so sweaty and gross. I've also just got a plastic water bottle in this side because I like to stay hydrated and nobody has the money to pay $5 for a bottle of water at the airport, you know? First up in here, I will have my laptop. It's currently empty because my laptop is doing something I can't remember. Um, I also got some um, sweet and salty popcorn because I might get hungry at the airport and I'm trying to eat a little bit more healthier so I thought that would be a healthy snack to bring. Then I've just got my little, um, what are these called? Liquid case. So I've just got, um, <laughs> here's where you get a bit excessive brows. Maybe we should cut that back down. I do have three face masks, but one of them is about to finish. So like I've only got one use in that one. So that one's going to get thrown out. And then there's a moisturizing one and a clay one. So, you know, you need it depending on your skin problems at the time. Then I've just got a brush to apply them. I have the Mario Badescu rose water or facial spray with rose water. So refreshing, I definitely need that. Then I've just got some Vaseline. Um, what's that called? Hand sanitizer. I've got another lip balm in there and also this rescue balm stuff, which is just like a really hydrating kind of cream thing. Then I have my two adapters because you know, I need to plug things into power. And then I've just got my cords and stuff in here in my favorite little compartment thingy that I always talk about. And then I just have my notebooks because I like to keep travel journals. So, yep, they go in there. And then I think the last thing in here is my passport because how am I going to get out of the country without that? You know? And that is it. Oh, this is, this is what I was talking about when um, I was mentioning it in the start of the video. It's got this cool like metal thing which like keeps the whole bag structured and together. It's really handy. And then you can also carry it just like a regular bag or it's got backpack straps. So it's like, that is just like a bajillion bags in one. It's perfect. Anyways, I think I've rambled on long enough. And if you're still here, then I congratulate you because that was a long video. But anyways, 
that is everything I have to say. So if you enjoyed this video and got a few tips for what you're going to take to Asia, then make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and join our little fam. And I will speak to you guys next time. Bye. I love you.